So let's talk today about pleasure and heaven and sex and our genitals or our sexual energy as the golden thread or the key to heaven, the key back into heaven or the key to paradise, right? <laughs> now, the story that I learned went like this. So, everyone was in the Garden of Eden and everything was really lovely and perfect and euphoric and yeah, enjoyable and no, nothing was needed or craved for. It was just really good. It was divine. <laughs> and then there was a choice was made, the choice to know good and evil. The, cho the choice to actually know what is bad stuff or good and evil. To be able to choose. Huh. And then in that moment when we made that choice to be able to choose, then we stopped being in Eden, in heaven. We stopped being in this euphoric state. And then all this like difficulty started and we constantly trying to heal ourselves and heal the world and feel better and maybe even go back to heaven. Um, and there is this belief that our purpose is to find this wholeness again and to go back into this heaven state. Okay. So when we had, when we made this choice of knowing bad stuff <laughs> as opposed to good stuff, then we were immediately expelled out of this euphoric state or place or heaven. And the first thing we noticed was shame around our bodies, like shame. And we started covering our bodies. Uh, what a pity. That was the first manifestation of the removal from heaven. Shame for the body. And we're still sitting with this silly shame around the body, you know. We just every now and again we uncover when we're under the sheets and when we're with a special one, which is realistic. Um, in the world we live in, but I think the whole thing of shame just removes our presence from our bodies. So we even shameful to, to enter the presence of our bodies. And so many people are struggling and saying they feel so removed from their bodies. And the moment a person feels more in their body, like they're doing a healthy amount of exercise, they're eating well, they're dancing, they're moving around, they're feeling healthy. Their, their, their whole sense of self is just so much more whole. The more you are in your body, the more whole and wholesome um, you feel. And then I want to talk about this whole thing of sexual energy. Oh my God. You know, with all this shame, this whole sexual energy and allowing ourselves to feel that to, it full, to its fullest has diminished to just every now and again having an orgasm and then feeling this incredible, like, oh my God, this feels like heaven. Like that small death, I just collapse into myself and experience the most blissful state. This is like heaven. And then we experience it only for a few seconds. <sighs> Shouldn't that be a clue, a cue for us of where to find heaven? There in that blissful state, you know, that, that orgasm. Ah. So just think for a moment, 
to see that orgasmic sexual energy. To see that as like the little keyhole, or the key, or the little tiny little entry point into heaven. And then go there and give yourself completely into that incredible energy that is so in your body. It feels so good. It's so simple. It's almost, um, it's like, it's so basic. It's so real. It's so simple. It's so clear. It's so delicious. It's so obvious that this is our gateway into heaven. And then if you're feeling this orgasm just for a few seconds there in the genitals, only sometimes if you're lucky, see if you can start expanding and start slipping through that keyhole, through that entrance and going deeper and deeper into this state of heavenly deliciousness and the way to do that is to simply start accepting this pleasure that can come into the body and it is possible for us to bring this healing within ourselves or through ourselves into this this world like you don't have to go out and save the world out there you save the world bring heaven to earth by bringing more heaven into your body communing with heaven regularly <laughs> and then heaven I mean that ah oh, that orgasmic bliss Yes, feel it in your body. Allow heaven to come to earth inside your body. And then you can, by accepting it, you can start training your body <laughs> to, to, to have more of it and, and to have it into the rest of your body just with pure um, imagination. If, if your delicious sexual energy is just localized into your genitals for those few seconds, just with your imagination, you are able to welcome more of it into the rest of your body by relaxing and feeling opening and saying yes, 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 yes to pleasure and allowing this like, heavenly awareness, heavenly being in heaven for that little bit to come through your body for a little bit longer or even longer and start practicing by being like flowing, flowing this pleasure through your body. If anyone can do it, you know, you just you can just start playing with playing playing with it, playing with it. It's the most beautiful meditation to bring more heaven to earth through this body. And I can I can be like that, you can be like that, we can be like that in ourselves, on on our own, when we're making love to ourselves. When we're swimming in the ocean, when we're walking in nature, when we're sleeping in our beds, when we're eating food, we can bring more of this pleasure through our bodies. <laughs> There's more of this heavenly awareness through our bodies into the world. And then when you make love, do this with your partner. Give this to each other. Go into heaven meditation for a long time. Spread that delicious um, 
orgasmic, heavenly energy through each other's bodies for a really, really, really long time because it's so good. And this is how we this is how we bring heaven back to earth. You, you can do it through your awareness. That's our job, you know. That's that's our job to understand heaven again. And it's a pity that so many teachings or institutions specifically put this big no-no on sex. <laughs> the carnal enjoyment of that. Ah, sex, like how dare we. But in that, you know, I feel like there's been this like big rock of mm, hiding that has been put on the door of heaven. Like shame has been put on the door of heaven. And um, that shame is something that we have the power and the maturity <laughs> to step, step past, <laughs> just step past it, you know. Let's just get over it. Let's just, let's just invite more bliss into our lives. I don't want to use too much lingo like bliss, bliss, mm, bliss. Joy, bliss, enjoying life, you know, healing your own life by just enjoying. And the only place you can enjoy physically <laughs> is in your body. You know, it's the only place it can happen for you for real. <laughs> if you really enjoy through your senses, through your living body. This is where this life is happening and this enjoyment is happening. Mm. Thank you. Oh, I really enjoyed that. <laughs>